Closing in on the quarterly financial results date for NEO, I will provide an estimation of what the Q1 2023 revenue could look like. The Q1 2023 financial results of NEO will be published on June 9. For this quarterly revenue estimation video, I used the Google Docs presentation tool to make it more comprehensible than the one I did in Google Sheets last time. Let's start with the deliveries in Q1 2023. In Q1 2023 NEO delivered 31,041 vehicles including 18,703 ET5, 1,908 ET7 and 10,430 SUVs without further information about the delivery of each SUV model. For the average price of each model, I took the price of the car with the battery as a service subscription. For the ET5, this is a price of 258,000 renminbi, and for the ET7 378,000 renminbi. For the SUVs I had to estimate an average price based on the share each model takes up. Since we don't have any data on SUV deliveries, I had to estimate them myself and I came up with the following. I guess that the ES7 made up 50% of the total SUV sales. The ES6 with 25%, the EC6 with 16.6% and then the ES8 with about 8.3%. I based my estimation on past delivery numbers to have some sort of foundation. Based on this, I got an average price of 368,333 renminbi. Before we get into the revenue numbers, I would like to mention everything that could differ the estimation from the real revenue. First of all, my calculation is based on the same margins of Q4 2022. Also lithium carbonate prices fell up to 66% compared to the end of last year. This will affect the battery prices and could have a positive effect on the margins for Q1 2023. Another factor is the price difference between the Chinese Yuan and the US dollar. I took the current ratio of 0.1441 US dollars per Yuan. NEO might have taken an earlier ratio. The biggest unknown is the average sales price of the SUVs. Not only because of the missing delivery numbers for each model but also because of the price reduction of the NT 1.0 models. Lastly, I will only provide a revenue estimation because it would make little sense to make a net loss estimation because it depends on more variables and I have no real data for it to be accurate in any way. With this said, let's have a look at the vehicle sales revenue. If I now multiply the average price of each model with the delivered numbers in Q1, I get a sales revenue of 4.825 billion renminbi for the ET5, 721 million renminbi for the ET7 and 3.842 billion renminbi for sales of all SUV models. This equals a total sales revenue of 9.388 billion renminbi or 1.353 billion US dollars with the given conversion rate below. This now only represents the sales revenue of the cars and their base prices. On top of that come extras like options or sales that include the, the battery pack. To now adjust revenue to the actual sales revenue, I add a 6% on top of the just showed base sales revenue. The 6% come from the 8% that usually is the deviation of the base sales revenue based on the battery as a service sales price per model. But because of the price reductions for the NT 1.0 models I did reduce the 8% to 6% for Q1 2023. The adjusted sales price now equals 1.434 billion US dollars. On top of that come the other sales revenue that were 189 million US dollars in Q4 2022. To be a bit more conservative, I add other sales revenue of 140 million US dollars instead. This leaves us with a total estimated revenue of 1.574 billion US dollars for the first quarter of 2023 representing a decrease of 32.4% compared to Q4 2022 and an increase of 0.6% year over year. I hope that this video showed you the calculation process better than the last one of Q4 2022. I tried to keep everything as clear as possible and to explain every thought process behind the numbers. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you would also leave a like, a comment below the video or a subscription to the channel.
If you have any questions regarding the video and the revenue estimation, you can let me know in the comments. Until the next video.